Hey everybody, it's Miraline, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today's review is a new release from the House of Chloe. This one is Nomad Naturel Eau de Parfum. So it's a new 2022 release. The notes in here in the top are Dates and Mirabelle. Middle notes are Egyptian Jasmine and Freesia, and the base notes are Vanilla, Oak Moss, and Sandalwood. So first off, you guys, I'll say that when I tested this, performance really surprised me. This one is extremely strong. I smelled it for the entire day, both on my skin and on my clothing. So yeah, if you're looking for a light fragrance, uh, this is probably not the one you should go for, but of course it depends on chemistry and all of that stuff. But for me, it was beast mode. So what does it smell like? So in the opening here, I feel the sweet and warm, cozy blanket of warm fruits like orange and peaches. The notes officially are dates and mirabelle. Mirabelle, I haven't actually tried before. I believe it's a type of plum. Um, dates I have tried, but when I smell this, I'm thinking of having some warmed up oranges and canned peaches on the stovetop and just letting that stew for a very long time. Um, that's what I get here in the opening. So it is very sweet, um, very cozy, and very strong. Along with that, I also get some vanilla in here. It's a smooth, creamy vanilla added, added to this pot of fruits, stewing fruits. And um, it's lovely, I like it. <laughs> So in the mid of this fragrance and also in the dry down, something really happens that, something happened, sorry, that really surprised me. This totally did a 180 on me and it changed to something completely different. So in the mid here, I still get this warmness, warm, cozy, cozy blanket, sitting in front of the fireplace kind of feeling, but the scent changes from that stewed vanilla warm fruit compote into a creamy almost coconutty tuberose scent which is weird because coconut here is not in the notes and also tuberose is not in the notes <laughs> but on my skin it is very coconutty and almost a bit tropical because of that creamy coconut vanilla thing. So yeah, it was very heavy and thick and dense and I kept on thinking of tuberose, maybe a little bit of jasmine as well, just creamed up into like a coconut concoction with vanilla. And I really wasn't expecting this at all. Maybe I was expecting it to remind me of a few other flankers from this collection, but it doesn't. For me, this is quite different from what I remember from the original Chloe Nomad perfumes. And it is nice, but I don't know. I kind of like the opening more than the, the dry down of this, but it is sweet as well in the dry down and it is pleasant, but I think the opening was for me the best part. So, as I said earlier, longevity and projection were phenomenal on this one. It lasts for hours and hours and hours. And yes, I think that this is definitely worth a try. If you've tried it, I'd love to know what you think of it and also if it reminds you of the other fragrances from the Chloe Nomad collection, because for me, they were quite different. So I like this scent, not in love with the scent. I will test it more but not sure if I need a bottle, probably not. So that was my quick review of Chloe Nomad Naturel EDP. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care guys, bye.